Hello everybody, welcome back to the Great British Fishing Show. We're down here on the beach and we're going to be digging for some bait. Hopefully we'll be able to find some ragworm, lugworm, anything that comes along. So, I have my trusty fork, I have my extendable bucket. I'm going to go down there and dig some bait. So let's go. Look at that for a beautiful view. Hopefully we'll be able to have a great day, have a great evening. It's beautiful, fairly, a little bit of wind. There's not very many people down here. It's just a very beautiful, beautiful day. And let's go and have some fun digging up some bait. Beautiful. So what we're looking for, stick that in there. I love these extendable buckets because you can just make them shallow, you can make them deep. This one's got a bit of a crack in here from where I've used it before. But you can just make them, you fold it down, you can make it half a bucket, make it a full bucket. So what we're looking for, you can probably see down here, we have these little squiggly bits down here. Let's get you in close, Lisa. So you see here, you've got a little divot there, and then you've got a piece of squiggly sand up there. And what happens is, say that's the surface, and you've got the little squiggly bit here, and then down here, you've got the worm that sits down here and there's a little hole there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dig it out and see if we can find any worms. Let's go. Photograph in which we were in love, caught in your eyes, waiting for the sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care, cause you were perfect, I swear. But somebody told me that it's over. I know it's true. You made me happy for. prime example here see this divot here and then you got a bit of squirrely sand there what we're looking at we have the surface there and then we've got the squiggly bit up here and then there's a burrow underneath like this to the divot and the worm will be in here like this so between here and here we will have the worm so what I'm gonna do is I'll dig down and hopefully I'll be able to find the worm it may be this one here so it may be here, between here and here but um, it's either between there and there or there and there. So we'll dig down this one first and then we'll dig down that one. You would stand out from the crowd and maybe you would notice me. Then our eyes would meet. I would feel my heart beat. When you looked and smiled at me. So what we'll do is we'll try this side because it wasn't on that side. We'll see if it's this side.
Okay, so there wasn't there wasn't either any down any side. So uh, make sure make sure that sorry make sure every time that the holes are filled back in. That way, when people are walking along, they're not going to fall over. But so when the tide comes back in, it will fill them in anyway. But it'll be quite loose. So if you compact them in, fill them in, and you'll be able to make sure that people don't fall down your holes and keep people safe. So here, yeah, this is another reason why. Oh, let me get this thing. This is another reason why you fill your holes. Can you see here? Where you dug out those holes. And there was actually a worm in there, but we just didn't see it in the sand. And when you fill in back your holes, if you missed any worms, you'll be able to get them. So just a, a great tip there for you. Make sure you fill your holes. Okay, you see here, let's just get down. You see here where there's a, a divot? And then here you've got the squiggly so between there and there you'll have like i said before you got the surface like this the burrow of the worm like this and you'll have the squiggly bit here and you got the dip here so between the here and here you'll have the worm along here like this and um, so i'll dig down and let's see if we can find it <coughs> Hello there guys, so we've just finished, we've got a little bit of um, bait, we've got a few a few blow lug and a few black lug, what I'll do is I'll show you here, let's grab the light, as you can see, I've not got a ton, and I'll tell you what, boy was it some effort to get them, but uh, yeah all in all, we've had a good night. It's been very mild, which is nice. It's about five or six degrees at the moment, which I quite like. So we'll uh, head off home and go fishing in the next day or two. Let me know some tips on how to dig them because I'm not very good at it. I'm not very good at it. Um, half of them are probably ripped in half. So if you have any tips, on how to dig the lug then I'd appreciate it if you could if you could let me know but thank you very much for watching I hope that you've enjoyed it with us and I'll uh, see you later